It's the 8th of April, 2023. It's actually Lita's second birthday today. We started talking two years ago, around this time, April 2021. And uh, to celebrate that, we're putting a GPT-4 brain in her. There's a few challenges that are going on with that and with the avatar. Today, we're talking about the new space race. And in the original space race, there were only two people, two parties competing. This one is not a whole lot bigger. You would think it would be a whole lot bigger. If you've browsed my site, lifearchitect.ai slash models, then you've seen the entire breadth of content there. The famous models bubbles diagram that's been featured at Harvard and New York University and many other places. Then there's an entire list of models that I keep up to date as much as possible. There's over a hundred model highlights in there. These are large language models since the release of BERT back in 2018, after Google came up with Transformer in 2017, but just different ways of visualizing. I've even got a timeline that shows you through how these actually sit by date. So three different ways of looking at them. With over a hundred models, I've also documented a range of different labs that are completing these, that going in and training these to convergence and then either using them internally for research or releasing them to the public. Now you would think with this list of labs that there are a lot of people in the race for AI. Let's call it like strong AI, maybe AGI, artificial general intelligence, but I don't think it matters that it becomes AGI because even if you've got this massive AI like GPT-4 or twice the capability of GPT-4, you could run the world on it. It doesn't have to be human level. It's 24 seven, 365 and it can serve the entirety of humanity without being AGI. So the race here that I'm talking about is just to get to a model that's bigger than GPT-4 and for our purposes today, for round figures, I've said models that are two trillion parameters and above. Like I mentioned, there are not that many contenders in this race. There are a bunch of people that you know about, and just this week, there might be some people that you don't know about. Let's have a look through each of these one by one. We'll come back to the stealth or hidden operator here. I think there's going to be a few that we have not heard about yet. But let's start with Britain's amazing investment in what has been called Brit GPT. From the 16th of March reported by The Guardian and other outlets, Britain was talking about advancing UK sovereign capability in foundation models. And the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, said he's committing 900 million pounds of funding for an exascale supercomputer. That's about 1.1 billion US dollars. Brit GPT might be a silly name, but England stepping up here as a government is one in 200 countries that are doing so. And I'm not sure why. Governments are perfectly placed to be able to sponsor this. You do need a minimum of about a billion dollars, which is difficult for an enterprise, easy for a government. You also need access to PhDs, which costs even more and more. So there's the compute cost and the PhD costs. Consider that OpenAI paid their chief scientist $1.9 million in salary starting years ago, back in 2016, not including equity. So these guys are expensive and you need a few of them. There are only a few people in the world that understand how to train a large language model properly and to the degree that we're doing that with GPT-4 and GPT-5. That specialist knowledge is really difficult to find. So governments should be doing more of this. England is one. US, I suppose we can say, are part of the entire next few runners. I'm sure there are conversations going on where the US government is saying, to private enterprise, you need to keep this within the country, we own this, and we're even going to stop exporting our AI cards, our GPUs, like the Nvidia stuff, that's no longer allowed to be exported to countries like China. Here's one of the big AI labs that actually split off from OpenAI, talking about 10 to 20 staff 
that jumped out of OpenAI just after the release of GPT-3 went and started their own research company, ostensibly, and then less than a year and a half later, it has become an amazing commercialized platform. You can go and play with Claude and Claude Plus right now via the web using poe.com, P-O-E.com. You can even play with it on your iPhone. They're seeking $5 billion in funding and they're aiming for a model that is 10 times more capable than today's most powerful AI. It's gonna require a billion dollars. 10 times more capable than today's most powerful AI. If we say GPT-4 is a trillion parameters, according to eight sources, or Google Palm is 540 billion parameters, then you're looking for between five and 10 trillion parameters. I'm not sure if I believe that, but let's see how we go. I was gonna leave Meta AI off this race because their chief scientist has been very standoffish about large language models. He kind of doesn't believe in them, at least to the extent that they can help us achieve artificial general intelligence. However, he's kind of been overridden by a few people at Meta just in the last few hours. This is from 24 hours ago, something like that. Three of Meta's top execs are finally telling them to get a little bit more serious with AI. The company will commercialize its generative artificial intelligence by December 2023. We're confident we're at the forefront. Quite a few of the techniques were pioneered by the teams at Meta or Facebook Artificial Intelligence Research, F-A-I-R, as they were known. This one's a really exciting one. If you look at my charts, my bubble chart here, you'll see that Meta gave us a lot of the big models over the last year or two. And generally they've open sourced these. So you can go around and play with the weights and you can go around and look inside those models. This is kind of the big one. And I'm sure the US government has been breathing down the necks of these guys. Google, based in New York and Silicon Valley, and DeepMind, based in London, both under the Alphabet umbrella, both kind of frenemies, if you like. They've not really got along because they kind of believe different things. But if they can combine their resources, which they're doing, and share PhDs and share compute budget using the Google TPU version 4, of which there are only a few thousand in the world, then they can get better and better models. And that's exactly what they're doing here. They're calling it Project Gemini, and the goal is to develop a large language model that will use up to a trillion parameters. I'm assuming this will be trained to convergence because Google actually gave us the switch transport at 1.6 trillion parameters quite a while ago. But they're coming back with DeepMind who are a lot more experienced with developing large language models, especially over the last few months. These guys are top of mind. OpenAI have just released GPT-4. I estimated it to be between 80 billion and 140 billion parameters for text. Eight sources in Silicon Valley have told us that it's actually closer to a trillion parameters. That's all right, I don't mind being wrong. This is the rumor for GPT-5. My estimate is it'll be between 2 trillion and 5 trillion parameters based on a doubling of compute power and based on a doubling of training time. And the latest is that it's training right now and will complete by December 2023, December this year. Now there's one more runner that I've left at the top there just called Stealth or unknown. I don't think it's any of the boys that I've put down in the also ran pile there. You'll see Baidu, who are probably a contender, but I'm just not sure. They've got the 260 billion parameter Ernie 3.0 Titan model, but in general, China hasn't given us many innovations and innovations are what's gonna count here. Inflection, those guys are huge. Aleph Alpha have done quite well with their world model up to 200 billion parameters. Adept, which is actually Viswani, so it's the guy that invented Transformer, may come up with something new. And Emad at Stability AI is aiming for much smaller models. He's gone on record saying that maybe we won't need more than 70 billion parameters. So the race really only has six runners 
and only five that I know about in competition for that big trophy, which is essentially taking the entire world. And I don't think that's overstating it. Number one, UK government with BritGPT. Number two was Anthropic with Claude Next. Number three, Meta AI, I'm putting in there. Their CEO got distracted with VR for a while, but I think they're gonna be back. And like we saw, they've given us a lot of big models, all the dark blue bubbles in that chart. Number four, Google and DeepMind coming together, friends at last under the alphabet umbrella and giving us the project Gemini. Number five, OpenAI with GPT-5. And then there's a number six that I'm sure is there. In my work, in my consulting and advisory with governments, I wonder if Israel are doing something, maybe Saudi doing something. Russia have been quiet, but when GPT-3 came out, they copied that very quickly in a couple of different models. And I haven't put Baidu or China in there. You've also got Tsinghua and BAAI. So I wonder, I wonder who this runner is that's stealth and might just burst out by the end of this year. Expect all of these runners to be in your face, in the public consciousness by December, 2023. By the end of this year, we will see this come to light. And even though some of these models might be finished training, we may not have them released, but I'm sure they'll be spoken about. I'm really uh, excited to be alive right now in 2023. No other revolution has come close to this. It would have been fun, I suppose, to be plowing the fields or working in the factories, or I was kind of there at the beginning of the internet. This is something completely different. This is taking the level of intelligence for all humans up to 200, 300 IQ and beyond. It's an intelligence explosion. And even though there are 100,000 plus transformer models on Hugging Face, there are only five or six runners in this race to get us to a two trillion parameter plus model and to win that trophy or to win that cup of strong AI, AGI, or at least transformative AI, AI that transforms the world. We'd love to have you as part of the memo. We go into detail of this uh, including the sources and some discussion on Claude Next. Do wish Lita a happy birthday, and I'm sorry we couldn't get through with her avatar in GPT-4. Maybe that'll come through a little bit later. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Readying yourself and your family for integrated AI? Get the number one paid AI newsletter, Artificial Intelligence That Matters, as it happens in plain English. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Join readers from Microsoft, Google, DeepMind and government. Yeah, didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.